Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Tales of Zestiria. My name is Andrew, and I'm not fucking British, so I'm gonna knock that off right now. Last time, we finally got the blessing back in Lady Lake, which means our frame drops are gonna come back. Uh, I think I spent a night at the end, I believe. I didn't know you got that that early. I thought that was way later in the game. I mean, yeah, I like the color more. So. Oh boy. That's someone's dream. Yeah, we have Sharia. We have some check. We have a library. We have... Idol Master, we have more Idol Master, and we have Hat. Cool. Do I want to change outfits around this time? Uh, no, not quite yet. There's no skits. Hi, Alicia. How you doing? Uh, right. Okay, that's what we're doing. Chancellor Fuckhole. I mean, Bartlow. I mean... Cunt. Um... Hmm. Ah, we'll do that later. I finished preparing the gel. Thank you, Alicia. All right, let's go find the Sarasol. Oh, okay, that's how you check that. Good to know. Uh, yeah, I don't think we can do anything grade-wise right now. So, yeah, it's just Chancellor Fuckle Knuckle and, uh... Other such things, I suppose. You know how it is. Or maybe not, maybe this is your first time seeing this game, despite it being older than I am. Not really. Obviously. What's this about? Forgive me, Lady Alicia. Lord Bartlow's orders were to allow Shepard Saray through. We didn't know he'd have a companion. <laughs> <laughs> His Eminence Lord Bartlow is with a visitor at the moment. Please accompany me to the waiting room. This way. I cannot believe this. Bruh, who gives a shit that I have a companion? It's the princess of your kingdom. You let her the fuck in, bro. Okay, bye. Wait, um, I'm just allowed to do this? Oh, okay. Um. Imagine you fuck around in here and the game just kills you. Like, yep, nope, you took too much time. You're obviously a spy. We're going to assassinate you. Huh? Can't go through there. I'm exploring. Leave me time. Also, I just realized this place is counted as a dungeon. So, huh. Same dialogue. Eh, fuck you. I'm going this way. I want to see what this place has to offer. No. Aw. Damn. Also, I love how that doesn't actually have... <laughs> ...voice acting. Please, wait here for the time being. Alright, let's see here. We have... Oh. 
hi guy uh people involved in politics quickly become tainted if only everyone could be as pure-hearted as alicia okay uh there was What's a that? there was a discovery point in here but where oh the palace library whoa there's like infinite books just what you'd expect from a royal palace. Quite a collection of rare and valuable tomes. Lots that deal with history and ancient relics, too! Oh, I just want to sit and read them all! Oh my! This book has an interesting title. Mad Screams of Love. A poetry book, maybe? Let's check it out. Yeah, careful! It's gonna look like the book's floating in midair! Don't worry, Alicia will hand wave it away for us somehow. Oh, for... Uh, here, gimme. I'll hold it. Wow. Mad is right. An ode to young passions. A lonely voice, screaming love and anguish to the heavens. You just know the author's gonna look back at this ten years later and cringe. Angsty doesn't even begin to cover it. So that's what's so mad about it. Really? It all sounds pretty good to me. Huh? huh? Saray, I think that's because you're so... So inherently enthusiastic. You guys okay? <laughs> you look kinda... Uh, mad. Oh boy. We'd better relax while we still can. Things smell like they're going to get ugly. I can bet fucking money on it. At least they've got some it's a bit of the books. Yeah, at least they've got some nice books here. The chancellors surrounding the young king do not care for me much. They think my low standing in the line of succession should keep me out of political affairs. Uh <sighs> Forgive me, Uwu. Uh, can we just... Aw. <laughs> that would be funny. Um... I'm gonna go ahead and throw around some saffron. So what I tend to like to do is I try to distribute everything... Evenly, I guess. So, I don't know. Uh, da, 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 da. I could put free and free. Try it for a bit, see what happens. Uh Alright, I guess talking to him is all that's left. Is that book floating? Uh never mind, forget I sent anything. Uh that pillar Oh my god, the pillars are just clipped into the wall. Guys, wow, okay. That's some primo game building right there. Lord Bartlow is ready for you. To the round table chamber, if you please. Please wait here, Princess. Why? We were told that you were to receive different orders. About Marland? Yes. Please stay here. Fine. Alicia? It's about a yet unfinished job. Sorry, but I'm staying behind after all. This way. I shall guide you to the round table chamber. Did they leave her behind on purpose? I bet they did. The malevolence isn't gone yet. Why is my wa Oh no. Holy shit, they did it! An NPC that's faster than my walk speed! 
Fuck me sideways and call me a cherry pop. That is some magic right there. Too bad these doors are about as thick as... <sighs> wow. I'm gonna go ahead and say EDP's skull. I would make an assumption of this door, but I have to wait for this slow bastard to open it. Come on. I want to see people die. Come on. Wait, what happens if I... Oh. Oh. Oh, boy. Chancellor Bartlow is expecting you. Please make your way through the doors into the hall. Okay. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah, this looks... ominous. Sorry to have kept you waiting, gentle shepherd. Please, take a seat. Poison pot pie. Don't worry. I promise you, it's not poisoned. We simply felt it would be best to be closer to you. Let me introduce you. This is Military Chancellor Mathia, leader of the Royal Army. This is Professor Simon, administrator of the law in Highland. And this is Archbishop Nathael, the highest ranking holy man in the kingdom. And last, the man who manifests the will of the king himself. Bartlow. I'm Saray. Thank you very much for your invitation. We have much to discuss. Whoa, Saray, I hope you don't trust them. He does indeed have spunk. That, or perhaps he's just that much of a simpleton. It's quite delicious, though I would have liked to let Alicia taste it as well. What is your relation with Lady Alicia, if I may ask? We're just friends. She invited me to come to the outside world with her. How about we drop this silly game and have you tell us the real story, hmm? Hmm? They're suggesting that you and Alicia are using each other, hatching some sort of nefarious plot together. I'm not using Alicia. The Shepherd does not do such things. Oh, he doesn't. I couldn't say. I've never actually seen a Shepherd before. So they doubt you. I figured as much. Believe me or don't, I don't care. Well, we do care. It would be quite the scandal if the royal family had produced a false shepherd to curry favor with the populace. Careful. And so you're asking for proof that I'm the real shepherd? <laughs> Truth be told, it matters not whether you're real or just a boy in a silly outfit. The issue is that regardless, the citizens are beginning to side with you. It's the nature of the people to yearn for some dramatic sort of salvation. An easy way to have their every desire fulfilled. True. The Shepherd in every era has always suffered greatly from the people's grandiose expectations. The common man is but a fool and a cur. It's an unfortunate observation, but that is the reality of it. But in fact, it is for that very reason that we need you. Me? Why me? I will be perfectly frank with you. We are asking you to work under us, Shepherd Saray. As the Shepherd who would protect Highland, we want you to reinvigorate the people, boost their morale. The rampant disasters have rather dampened the people's spirits lately. It's very unfortunate for the Council. Those ignorant fools, right when we're on the brink of war with Rollins. We will reward you handsomely, of course. This is your advance. If you're really all the rumors say, I hear that you're quite interested in ancient ruins, yes? Were you to side with us, surely this would be sufficient to facilitate your explorations and archival activities, would it not? <sighs> There's no point in siding with Princess Alicia. 
the princess is to be transferred to the city of Marland, where the epidemic yet thrives. They're sending her to a plague town? Surely even our spirited Princess Knight will learn her limits after toiling in such a star-crossed locale. Of course, if she herself were stricken with illness, I suppose she would have bigger things to worry about. <laughs> so then, Shepherd Saray, there's nothing to even think about, is there? I refuse. Darn. Guess they weren't the type you can sit down and talk with after all. Probably better this way. Proud words from a false shepherd. You and Alicia will both learn the hard way what comes from crossing us. Wait! What on earth is going on here? What are armed guards doing in the palace? These are Lord Bartlow's orders. Lord Bartlow, what is the meaning of this? Stand down at once! Nice castle, but we're done here. Let's go, Alicia. I can fulfill my dreams without your help. And the same goes for Alicia. Indeed it does. Death to the knave Shepherd, who deceives the people! Stand back, Alicia, or you'll get hurt! You know, I'm gonna be completely honest. I really really wish I could be in Bartlow's shoes right now. When he sees a motherfucker turn into a giant flame sword wielding ponytail having badass. Don't you think you're overdoing it here, Saray? Saray has just gotten too powerful. Hi, how you doing? My name's Saray. Okay, yeah. Wait, can I escape? No, no, I cannot. I don't know that I can. We just can't go on like this. I mean, we can. That's just not going to feel so good for them. This power... Could he truly... Lord Bartlow, we will forgive this transgression. In exchange, you will never threaten the Shepherd again. Am I being clear? Impossible. He'll plunge the kingdom into upheaval. And if by any chance, he were to fall into Roland's hands... <laughs> I'd be more worried about your own neck if I were you. Who are you? Scattered bones. Assassins! Yes. That man approached us, and tried to hire our guild to murder your princess here. <gasps> Are you saying Lord Bartlow was plotting to kill Alicia? D don't be ridiculous! He says we're liars. Should we kill him? <gasps> Enough! Stop! I beg of you, please stop. The Kingdom of Highland needs this man. <laughs> You're all you're made out to be. Listen, and listen well, Bartlow. We do not kill against our own honor. Understood. Why? He's fine. They didn't kill him. <coughs> Not your usual assassins, are you? I'm impressed they snuck into the palace. Apprehend them! They're the conspirators! Not good. Thanks to you, our work was quick and painless. Here's your reward. Follow us. Ah, oh, nice. Level up. Anyways. You're an asshole! <laughs> Fuck off. Oh, my job oven. You're an asshole. You're an asshole. Uh, at least you're making a little bit of sense. You should probably just go about parking your ass. Alicia, 
Sorry, I appreciate the backup. Not at all. It is I who must beg your forgiveness. But now is not the time. The guards are coming after us. We've got to hurry. Okay, well, so anyways, the save point seems like a fun idea. <clears throat> yep. Uh, the door closed backwards. Don't make me fight, you guys. You'll all die. We'll have to break through. We can't. They might die if I use my power. Hurry. This way. Mmm. Bye, Felicia. No. I can see the Hellions on my radar of the Hellionness. <laughs> that guy's got a run cycle. <laughs> Why can I come in here? There's there's nothing here. Okay. This is the room we were in. Yeah. Okay. So I've checked that one, checked that one, we'll check this one. So I just want to make sure we're not missing anything. Yeah, okay, these rooms are just pointless. That's cool. Can I not go in here? Nope, okay. The rest we leave up to you. What? That was wind. So that's cool. Uh, flower. Rosemary. And seeing as I've got it. Because I never did that in my original run either. So. Yeah. Tip tap. Thought there was something there for a sec. And now we do the mini meet, uh, gnomes, and we arrive. The was connected to a place like this. Back underground. Hi, turtles. That's not a turtles. I'm that's impressed. a. The scattered bones knew about this route. Still, seems like an awful lot to go through just to deliver a warning. Up. Oh. The underground dungeon. A secret underground dungeon. I sure feel a lot of malevolence. I wonder who was kept down here. Whoever they were, no doubt they left their hatred here. Hatred against the royal family. You shouldn't feel personally responsible. I'm fine. Let's just look for a way out. Some of these cells are opened. Let's be careful. I was about to say, uh, Alicia, are you trapping me in? <laughs> Doc Toidles. It's got a bunch of good stuff. Damn. I wish I had money. Well, we can get some. Oh, man. Weak to win, so. Alenia is what women who become Hallians can turn into. I suppose that could happen to anyone with a black heart. Tiger Blade! No, no. The ruins are calling me. And the fusion talent, which is good to have. Very, very good to have. Monolith. Hello. Is that a monolith? Yes, yes it is. Uh spirit chain, yep. Yeah, that's one thing you have to remember when fighting in this game is you have companions. Let them continue the combo for you. Is this I have a habit of not doing that. <laughs> Truly a Hellion? Stop! 
I keep victory is ours. That was weird. I keep forgetting I have free and free or whatever it is again, so my SC doesn't recover so fast anymore. That's Anthem Ribbon Tie. Okay. Okay then. Good to know. Hm. Wait. Oh, okay, never mind. Uh, all right. Oh, damn it, Alicia. Wow, it really is big. That's what she said. Never would I have imagined such a vast maze lay beneath the palace. One wonders where it leads. Ah. Well, don't mind if I do. A bodyless Hellion? Made when a dead body is possessed by a Hellion. Guess the only thing we can do is purify it. Everyone okay? Yeah, I'd say that worked out well enough. <laughs> An herb. There must be herbs around here. Three lavender. Good to know. Good to have. Good to this way. I can sense the ancient tongue. We're near one. Ah, uh, hit points. Health exists. Don't run out of it. I hope I. I can win this. It looks like a pig, but it must have been human before. Even if a seraphim just eats and eats all day. That's what happens. And you're dead. Purification complete. Pogus. Got a treasure chest. Look around you. Fukyan. Damn it, Alicia. God dang it, Bobby. Endurance. That is the all important Cool. <laughs> there might be something nearby. Free shit? Cannot turn down free shit. I thought there was something down there for some reason. Uh, now there's you? Sup, bitch? Okay, Alicia's weird. Now, oddly enough, I actually remember. Looks like we win. Nice. Oh, there we go. Um. 
Cool. I remember I used to play as Meklio a little bit. I wasn't great at him, but I'm willing to give it a shot. We can't afford to hold back. Let's do this. Uh, actually, let me go ahead and... Um... So you know what? That's what my issue always was. Right fucking there. Turn off free and free. Know why? Because if I'm moving with free and free on, okay, if you're running around while free running, your SC doesn't recover. Charge cast. That's good to have, though. So while free and free does make it easier, to, well, it doesn't really do anything easier, actually. It just makes it feel less jank. But, nah. No real point if it fucks you over. Uh, alright. Actually, with those fusion points, I can probably... No, not quite yet. Oh, well. And I want to say this is probably a boss fight. Ah, uh, yep. Yeah. That must be the source of the malevolence. It looks like... An echidna, such deep hatred, it must have quite a grudge. Watch out for its charge attack. They're deadly. Saray, Alicia, don't take your eyes off. Spirit cleansing! Come on! Oh, you son of a bitch. What the fuck? Bruh. Okay, well. This bitch! This bitch! Bro! Fuck off! What is this? Tiger 
strength of a knight exists to protect, and their kindness serves the people. What's that? It's a quote from my master. It supports me in times of need. Now that just fucking hurt on the inside. Oh, I get it. Huh? This must be connected to the Sacred Blade Ruins. Because the torches and architecture are the same, huh? If I may say so, this place is oddly nostalgic. They both date from the same era. There's no way they'd keep the waterway separate. We should be able to get out through the Sacred Blade Ruins. So the bustling city of Lady Lake sits right on top of an enormous network of ruins. You can find a reason to smile in any situation. Is that weird? I'm just who I am, no matter what happens. Well, fair enough. I'll give you that. Don't encourage him, Alicia. So Ray needs to realize for himself what a weirdo he really is. Anyone who hangs around with the weirdo must be pretty weird themselves, don't you think? Looked in a mirror lately? Oh my, what a beautiful maiden! Pot's calling the kettle black, wouldn't you say? <laughs> and? No, no, it's nothing. I was just thinking that you always manage to stay true to yourself, Saray. I guess I could learn a thing or two from you. Uh, the only thing you can learn from me is... What it's like to be fucking psychotic. Speaking of... Hello! Looks like we win! Oh, that makes up for it a little bit. <laughs> Die. Are calling. <laughs> All right, we'll take this left because free shit. It seems there's a treasure chest near us. We cannot obtain this free shit. I forgot. I don't have the water ability, or the wind ability, or the earth ability. Oh god. Victory is ours. Victory is indeed ours. Pretty damn cool. Uh, let me actually look, cause I saw about. Oh, no. uh, I actually don't like using this, to be honest. Hidden garden, not really something I like. So what was with the torch back there, then? Taoists. Oh, all right. Let's get out of here. Forgot it. Doesn't matter that much. Free shit. 
Fuck yes. And everything cleared up, so... Hello! Very well. Well, Who's on the way? Enjoy the afterlife. You were quite strong. But we're no pushers. Uh, pushovers either. All of my ability to speak the English language is definitely a pushover. You were quite strong. Nice, but we're no pushovers either. What are you talking about, bats? <laughs> oh boy. We're gonna go ahead and save here. We'll check the Lord of the Land. Level 5, boons. We now have Sanctification. Which we're going to actually use this time, hopefully. We're free. The sun's high up already. Huh? Hey. Y yeah, it was just so bright I got a little lightheaded. Well, I'm a bit frazzled myself from lack of sleep. Hmm? I'm sure my manor is being watched. Let's rest at the inn for now. We should dry our wet clothes as well or we'll catch a cold. Good idea. You know, that's the one thing I just realized. Alicia has a manor here. Why the fuck are we staying at an inn when one of our party members literally lives here? Like, bruh, can we not just set up a futon in the fucking guest room? Like, <laughs> it's not like we need seven beds. Everybody else sleeps inside me. So, you know. No need to worry, I expect the guards will be called back very shortly. We can breathe a little easier for now. I mean, the guards should have boots put directly to their asses, so... You know. Anyways... Let's get on to the end, I suppose. Oh, and something I was gonna say in the last session was gonna be it looks like the screen uh the screen tear doesn't actually i called it scan lines in my first episode i meant to say screen tear but anyways it looks like it doesn't translate through to the video file so fuck i don't care i'll take that i'll take that I'll take the amber garment. And I'll take another anthem ribbon uh ribbon tie. Sure. Patron. Oui oui, mon chéri. Uh anthem ribbon tie. Yeah, so that'll fill it out. Uh, the amber waistcoat and the amber garment can be done. Sure. that that's fine
brings up your magic attack, but nothing else, really. Um, that seems a lot better for Saray, so we'll put that on. We'll put that on, uh, and that's fine. I do want Sonic to rest. Uh, you! Surging Falls is an upgrade in... Yep. Easily. The Oven Crown brings up your focus. Yeah, it's not that big of a downgrade and everything else, and it's a pretty good upgrade. Uh, we'll put the Amber Waistcoat on him. We'll keep that. The boots are fine. And everything gets some torn fangs, so what we'll do is... Yeah, we'll bring up his defense. Oh, spears. That's fine. Yeah, and some ribbon tie. We'll keep that, sure. Uh, Garmin is fine. Ring. We'll give her the earth ring. Boots are fine. Skewering spear all around, so... We'll do that. And Lila. Scorched Valley is good to have. So, we're going to Firecaster, folks. And... Nice. That's not horrible. What's this? Oh, yeah. Aqua. Okay. And Saray. Yeah, that's fine. It's not great, but it's fine. It works. Uh, is there anything else I want to grab while I'm here? I could maybe grab the fire earrings. Garheldi, we can live without. Alright, no, that's fine. One invisic coming right up. Guess we caused yet another scene. Hooray for us. Well, at least we got rid of the malevolence. Incidentally, I suppose. But even so, I'm glad. It feels like now there's nothing we've left undone. You say that like it's your end. In a way, it is. I have decided I'm going to Marland. That's a plague town. You can't really mean to obey them. Whatever twisted motives the Chancellor may carry, the Order is official. And besides... It doesn't change the fact that Marland is suffering. I want to do everything I can, for the people of Highland. Alicia! The Council may laugh, but so be it. Alright, then I'm going with you. You can't get involved. I've already caused you so many problems. But how do you plan on getting to Marland? The bridge is washed away. Well... I don't know. Four heads are better than one. And we have excellent foreheads. Besides, we need that bridge too, after all. Thank you. No need to thank us. Dinner last night was off the chain! All right. Let's go check on the state of the bridge. Alright, Alicia's title leveled up, which is always cool. And we have seven fusion points, which is always cool. 
Uh, that exists, which is always cool. Uh, <laughs> yeah, nothing really more to do with this guy right now, to be honest. I could give him food. You want food? <laughs> All right. Uh, all right, let's go see the bridge. Hi, guy. Bye, guy. They won't be able to go anywhere with the bridge down. Well, we're going to go make sure the bridge isn't back. The bridge is probably completely fucked. So, you know, this will go well. Hi! The Scattered Bones, the Assassin's Guild. I still can't get over their skills. You mean those assassins? Yeah. From what I could sense, they're practically Hellion class. They're still just regular humans, aren't they? I think so. <clears throat> but why aren't they Hellions? Well, maybe they're good people? Good people? They're the most feared assassins guild on the continent. You know about the Scattered Bones? Scarcely a soul doesn't. No one's seen their faces and lived to tell the tale, so this is all just conjecture. But rumor holds that they've been involved in close to a hundred assassinations. Nobility, military officers, underworld bosses. I'd always thought them just a colorful urban myth, but... Given their fighting skills, I'd say they're the real deal. And yet it is a fact that they were not Hellions. Do you think there is a reason for this? That I could not say. A reason they don't turn into Hellions? Please don't tell me you want to hunt them down and ask. Who knows? We might meet him again, whether we like it or not. Boy, lucky us. I mean, maybe the whole thing of if you stick to your creed and don't... You know, turn into an evil bitch. As long as your belief of what you're doing is right and just... Nah, eh, I don't know. Hey, you want to see some enemies die really fast? Hey, you want to see me miss a bunch of hits because I suck at video games? The ruins are calling. <laughs> oh boy. We that's. It's a thing. Oh, hey, another searching false. Cool. I'll, uh, fuse that when I get the chance. And Falkman Hillside. So as far as I remember, this place is out of a domain. It's a marmot. It's quick with its attack. It'd be best to use hidden art. The ruins are calling me. Oh, uh, let me see if I can fuse that. Oh. Oh. That's good to have. Blow blast. I have no idea. Yeah, we're not going to get that for a while. Um... Wait, when the fuck?
but Saray doesn't have one. Huh. Now I just want to see if I can get this before. <laughs> Uh, but then again, I... No, I think Saray has 40. I think Mikleo might... Or, not 40. Uh, 4 BG. Come here. Looks like we win. Looks like we win. Uh, yeah. No one has done any work on it? How could this be? Excuse me. Well, by looking at the river, I would say the rapids are probably still too strong. Seeing as that fucker is pushing through like it means business. Fixing the bridge. They don't really believe Saray is the shepherd at all. Good. Better than them expecting too much of him. Besides, I'm sure Saray has bigger things on his mind right now. Like fixing the bridge, you mean? Yeah. I can't believe how little progress has been made. I guess Marlin is going to be quarantined for a little while longer. I want to do something to help them. <sighs> well, this is going to go horribly wrong. If there's disease over there, then I'd say we're better off without the... Oh, for well, that's but... certainly unpleasant. But we can't blame them either. I suppose anyone would be scared of an epidemic. Marlin sent a representative over here to buy medicine for the town, but the th the way things are now, he's stuck on this side of the river. Well, that's not too nice. Hey, old guy. Oh, that's a curious outfit. You must be the shepherd. Yes, I'm Saray. I am Naif, a representative of Marlin, the town on the other side of the river. Lord Saray. I hear that you were able to stop the rampage of the water spirit. I cannot possibly thank you enough. Oh gosh, it was nothing. Hey, Mr. Nath, was there something that you wanted to discuss with me? Ah, well, you see, thanks to your heroic efforts in putting a stop to the water spirit, the currents have calmed considerably, and we should be able to repair the bridge. But I'm afraid it's still taking too long. I have to make my way back and deliver this medicine at all costs. Huh, I see. Then... Sarai. I, uh... No, I apologize. It was wrong for me to ask favors of you just because you're the shepherd. The destruction of the bridge itself was a warning to those who have forgotten their gratitude toward the Seraphim. I shall bear that in mind and devote my energies to aid in restoring this bridge. I'm terribly sorry I couldn't help you. Please, don't fret. Your very existence is a beacon of hope to us all. We should be thanking you for appearing in such dismal times. I'll see if there's anything I can do on my end as well. I'm really sorry. He's a good man. He hasn't forgotten his sense of gratitude to the Seraphim. I really want to help him somehow. Lila, is there nothing I can do to aid him? I ask as well. If it's just so Ray and his squire Alicia, I should be able to use my powers to cross the river. We can take the medicine with us. But if Saray uses his power as a shepherd to carry someone's goods, then everyone else will want to turn to use him as their own personal delivery boy. And we're not a freight company, you mean? Then maybe we can ask a ferry captain to... But then that ferry captain would just wind up having to deal with the same issue. So 
So you're saying we should start by addressing the root of the problem? Meaning we should just help restore the bridge, huh? And in a way that won't cause people to rely too much on the Shepherd afterwards. I wonder if we could maybe build the foundation for the bridge out of rock. Ask the Earth Seraph to help raise a riverbed or something. That's definitely something only the Shepherd could do. And the repairs that followed afterwards could be left up to the people. How about that? Very well. That sounds good to me. To the west looms a mountain known as the Spirit Crest. If I'm not mistaken, an Earth Seraph dwells there. Let's tell Alicia! <laughs> <laughs>